So, it seems that supermassive data miner anti-meme is back with more deleted scenes. And I find these ones especially fascinating. There's a lot of cool stuff here, especially a big extension of the radio repair sequence in which characters have to climb up the broken antenna to get a signal out. But the really interesting part for me are the two theories that this deleted footage confirms. First up is this scene, in which we learn that the already revealed a Sandalanche almost buries Eric and Rachel scene had two resolutions. One in which Eric helped Rachel. Thank you for not leaving me. I would never do that. Still. Worst comes to worst, we've been buried together for all eternity. It's pretty romantic, don't you think? We should find a way out. And one in which he didn't. Are you okay? No, I'm pretty fucking far from okay. I'm sorry, Ridge, I had to. Whatever, we're alive. Let's get the fuck out of here. Why are these outcomes important? If you recall, it's possible for AI Rachel to cut the rope and protect Eric if their relationship is high enough. It's just not possible to actually raise their relationship level that high when playing the game. The outcome dialogue in these clips clearly suggests that they would be accompanied by a raising or lowering of the Eric-Rachel relationship meter. This makes it extremely likely that the intent was for AI Rachel to be able to cut the rope if the player made all of the right choices in their interactions. Then we have the biggest confirmation yet. Here's Jason and Salim freaking out about phantoms. Fuck. What is it? You don't see that? And now here's Salim hearing Zane's voice and then being frightened by what's probably a scary version of Zane's face. Salim, what's the hold up? Enemy! Don't believe that shit. It's all in your head. Although that is an asset that obviously never got made. As theorized by Kev765 back when the game first came out, there seems to have been a cutscene before Jason and Selim get to the alien city in which they're both poisoned by parasite venom and have horrifying visions. Those fucking things try to fuck with our heads. They try to kill us. The fact that the Venom document describes what are clearly the effects of Manchurian Gold was enough to say, with the balance of probability, that Manchurian Gold was reverse engineered and strengthened to Parasite Venom. Now, watching these scenes, in which Jason and Selene are suffering from the exact same symptoms as people exposed to Manchurian Gold, rids us of all doubt. Does this confirm that there was also a vampire corpse on board the Medan? No tragically, but it gets us a significant amount closer. There's a whole lot more footage on Anti-Meme's channel, so I'm putting a link to it in the description below the video. Check it out if you want to see more of what's missing from House of Ashes. I've been the Hidden Object Guru, thanks for watching. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons coming up to help with that. Questions, suggestions, ideas for other topics you'd like to see covered about Supermassive Games, go in the comment section below the video. We'll see you back here for more of the aforementioned Supermassive Games coverage, but until then I'll say that's right. Au revoir.